We're back, everybody. Just when you thought it was safe to use CS5, we're back with another version. What are we thinking? What we're thinking about is innovation is happening everywhere at a rapid pace, and we're trying to keep up with that innovation. Um, the world is evolving, and we actually want to um, inspire you by giving you better and better tools. And we think we need to do that by changing the pace by which we're bringing it to you. So we started by bringing you a release every 18 to 24 months. We're not going to bring you a major release, what we call a milestone release every 24 months, but we're also going to integrate uh, every 12 months uh, a mid-cycle release. And so what we're releasing today is CS 5.5, which is our first mid-cycle release. Now, there's a couple areas that we really want to enhance here. If you're on a CS 2, 3, or 4, you're going to find this extremely compelling because it has everything 5 had plus some new things. Those new things are really geared towards mobility, and the ability to actually write applications for Android devices or RIM-based devices or uh, WebOS or iOS devices. We're going to enhance that and make that way better for that and, and use of HTML5 and other technologies. Two is that if you're in the digital publishing space and you're trying to build uh, content for things like uh, magazines or newspapers or brochures or annual reports or marketing collateral, we're going to make enhancements to InDesign that enable you to actually have a seamless workflow to integrate things like interactive content and rich content right in InDesign. And lastly, one of our key component areas that we've actually enhanced dramatically is in the video space. We have major inroads against our competition here, and in fact, now you're going to see Things like um, our 64-bit Mercury playback engine is now enhanced to uh, support more chipsets, so even more systems can take uh, advantage of the full speed of that. We also have our media encoder, which is now 64-bit, and multi-core, which means it's going to go way faster. And lastly, we have a new audio tool. Well, it's actually an old audio tool called Audition. We've totally revamped it. We've merged it with Soundbooth, and we're combining that to actually have it on Mac and PC and available in the suites as our new uh, pro audio tool. So uh, soup to nuts, extremely excited about that. Other area of enhancement is around uh, we're going to provide an SDK for people who actually want to write uh, you know, rich media applications that integrate directly into Photoshop. So now I can actually have something like a training tool that I can see on my tablet device that can manipulate directly what's happening in Photoshop. This SDK is applicable to iOS devices, RIM based devices, WebOS based devices, as well as Mac OS and Windows-based devices can actually integrate into and connect remotely into Photoshop. Really compelling. Along those lines, we announced our first three applications that take advantage of that SDK. And these are around things like painting, things like color mixing, and things like navigation and setting up your tool set in Photoshop. All, again, enabled by the SDK that now everyone has access to. Last thing I'll mention uh, is that we're also going to price differently. We're going to offer, for the first time, subscription pricing. In addition to perpetual licenses, you can now subscribe to the suites and the point products. This allows you to get a lower price point. You can amortize those costs with your customers, or you can just simply lower the price you're paying per month to get access to the full suite. So again, giving you flexibility to choose whatever one works for you best. Extremely excited. Again, if you're a two, three, or four customer, you're going to find this outrageously compelling. If you're a CS5 customer, there's going to be some very good workflows that are going to find ad ad advantage of using the new CS5.5. Check us out on Facebook and Adobe.com and enjoy. It's great stuff.